Well, good morning YouTube. In this little demo I'd like to show you how to move text and other objects using Adobe Premiere Pro. Uh, actually I'm using version uh, Pro version 2.0. Uh, it's slightly different in Premiere Pro version 1 and again slightly different in the earlier versions as well. Of course they had to go and change things but this will give you an idea and get you started anyway. To set things up, I basically just have an I took an empty project, created a title, added and added that title to the timeline, and set it to 15 seconds. So all we have is just a 15 second static title, nothing special, and that's what we want to change. So what you need to do is first get to your effects controls tab or window, whichever you have and then select the clip that you need to animate whether it's a title, a video clip, a photograph whatever and once that's selected you'll see up in your uh, effects control tab the motion controls click the little down arrow and you'll see what you can control motion wise now if you just wanted the text to move to the upper left corner, for example, all you would have to do is change the horizontal and vertical numbers, and that would actually control the text for the entire run of the clip. So if you just wanted to zoom in, for example, to change framing or something, uh, you could do it right here. Uh, to get it to move, well that's our ultimate goal, so that's our next step. To get motion, what we need to do is let's open up our keyframe window and then we're going to set a keyframe for motion. And as you can see, that sets a keyframe at the very left hand side of, of frame. Now let's have it move down to the lower right. So we set our cursor to the lower right position and now we move the text using the numbers again to the lower right corner of the screen. And as you can see, as we're moving the text, that set a key a keyframe indicator for us where the cursor is. So let's just get the text all the way to the bottom right corner. And as you can see, when we run it now, the text will animate from upper left to lower right. Now in Premiere Pro 2 there is also another way of moving the text besides simply changing the numbers. In this version you can simply click on the text and drag it to wherever you'd like it to go. You just set your cursor for where you'd like the key point to be and drag the text and as you can see it'll set you a keyframe at that point with that location and the text will move along that that shown path. So that gives you another way of doing it in Premiere Pro 2. Either by just setting your own keyframes and changing the numbers or dragging the text as you go. And as you can see it goes from one keyframe to the second keyframe and at that point it starts moving towards the final keyframe. Now you can do the same kind of thing with the other uh, motions listed too. Scale, rotation, etc. Let's say we wanted the text to spin once as it's going from the first location to the last location. All we have to do is set a keyframe at the first location, then drag our indicator over to the end, set another key keyframe there to go around say 360 degrees, which is one rotation, and what will happen then is it will travel around as it's moving, it will spin one rotation. Now 
Now you'll see the text will move and spin as it goes. We can also set extra keyframes for rotation. Simply set your indicator where you'd like it. And now let's have it flip around twice forwards to 720 degrees. At that point, then it'll flip back once to 360 when it hits the end. So we just set that keyframe point to 720 degrees. which is two complete revolutions. And let's see what it does now. And you can see there's our new key point for two revolutions. And our last one takes it back to one. So let's see what it does. We've got two forward and one back to the final point. What's also nice is this works for pretty much all the uh, various video effects you can add to a clip as well, in addition to uh, the ones listed under motion. So for example, let's say we wanted this to start out blurry and come into focus as it goes from point to point. So let's go into our video effects and go to blurs and we'll pick a Gaussian blur. And we'll put that up on the effects control. And when we open that, you'll see it has the same type of indicators as the motion ones, where we can go all the way to the start of our frame, and we can add a keyframe there. And at that keyframe, uh, let's turn up the blurriness to make it very blurry. And now we can go to the end of the clip and let's add a keyframe there to take it back to zero for total sharpness. Now you'll see as it moves and flips it'll also come in to come from blurry into focus. And let's see what happens there. And there we go. Now remember this doesn't only work for uh, titles. This will work for anything. Video clips, photographs, whatever. So you can use it for all kinds of things like, let's say you accidentally screw up the uh, framing of a video shot. You can correct it right here in Premiere. If you're taking shots with a, a, ca a video camera on a tripod and it's just a static shot, you can add some camera motion right here with Premiere. It makes it look a lot more professional. Uh, if you're doing a slideshow, you can do all those fun little spins and zooms and so forth uh, with photographs. So it adds a whole lot of life to your uh, videos when you can do stuff like this. And it works really well. And once you know how to do it, it's not hard to do. And also remember, it works for all your other video effects too. So you can change color and things like that all dynamically within your videos. So have fun with this new avenue of effects using Premiere Pro, and if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Talk to you all later. Bye-bye.